Hey guys, welcome back. So, I have been working on a project all day long. I've done three different ones. They didn't turn out all that great. I am having problems now using white clay because the white clay is not taking the impression as well as the gold does. And I don't know if I'm going to need to use pearl instead. But I've got this pattern, really pretty pattern. And this came from Miami Clay Tools. They are on Etsy, and this is floral pattern number five. So I've been wanting to make a Clausene piece, whether it's a focal or earrings, for a long time. I actually have some aluminum um, wire that's just flat, and it's about three millimeters um, width, I guess you can say. And so basically what you would do is you would shape it. And I'll do a video of it when I get a little bit more guts. But I'm just really terrible at drawing. And so I've never tried it. But you would just like bend that into different shapes and make a real cloissonne pendant. So this is a faux um, cloissonne. But hopefully it comes out just as good. So I did a, a layer of white. This is Primo White. And I have it at a number zero. And then I actually added another layer. Um, at a number four. Okay, because since it's going to be a pendant, I want it thick. So now the worst part of these are these these texture plates or whatever you want to call them, these rubber plates. They're really hard to get a deep impression in. So that's where I'm having my issue is I can't get a good impression. And with the gold, it just embedded itself in so perfectly that I was able to do this and get a really nice impression. But I haven't been able to do that since. So I'm going to lift this up without taking it off. And I'm going to put some texture on the back here. So this will help me a little bit more get that impression that I need, hopefully. Hopefully. All right, so now we're going to pull this off. Yeah, still having problems getting the impression out of both of those. There's no clay stuck inside, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to get some pearl, and I'm going to see if there's a difference. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try it with the pearl and see if that makes any bit of a difference. Excuse the noise. My son is working on a motorcycle in the garage. So I get to hear that for a while. Now around here, trust me, you get used to it. Okay. So now we're just going to go really hard. You don't want that to move at all. And I'm also going to stand up so I can put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, so hopefully that didn't move. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and we're going to put texture on the back it's weird I talk very light when I have people home and I don't know why they can't hear me either way okay so now let's see what we got okay so look at how well it did that flower in the pearl but in the white I couldn't get those perfect images. So we're going to stick with the pearl tonight. So I'm going to put the white away for now. Okay. And it's going to be a pendant. So I'm just going to use a 2 inch. 
Oh, that's two and a quarter. That's way too big. I have a one and three quarter, but I should have one more that's a two inch. There it is. All right. So I really love this flower. So I'm going to find a really nice place to put it. And because I'm going to be painting all this, I don't want too many small things. Because it's just going to make it a lot harder on me. Okay, so we're just going to... We're just going to do that. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to stick this in the oven. Okay, so here's the piece. Isn't that cute? Okay, but before we put it in the oven, we are going to coat it with some gold. And I thought I had a tile in here. I do. It's a messy tile, though. So I don't think I want to use a messy tile. So let me grab another tile and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So to get that cloisonne effect, it's supposed to look like metal. On the very, very top with enamel in the inside of the design. Now before I tried this, I tried enamel. It did not um, glass enamel. It it needs fire, so it didn't melt or anything like that. So there's real little granules with it. I tried liquid clay by mixing some watercolor with liquid clay. The liquid clay did not dissolve the watercolor paint. So I got little bumps on that too. And then when I put it in the oven and took it out, it was just faded. It was just ugly. So hopefully, hopefully this works okay. So to make that metal, okay, I'm using gold. I want to make sure I just get a little bit on the top. I don't want it in the design. I want it on the top where it's sticking up. Okay, and in a couple of seconds I'll show you how I did that. Okay, and you want a good amount. And yes, I always take all the excess off because when I didn't, it gets it all over the place. Okay. Let's do a little more. I got these little dots over here. They didn't go deep enough. Just keep going until you cover everything that you want covered. Okay, I think I'm done with that. I've got these little ladder shapes right here. But it's not really getting them. So it didn't give me as great as an impression as when I used the gold clay so I'm not quite sure why but it'll have to do okay so now now we can put that in the oven since I've got the white I'm gonna go ahead and do it although I don't think I'm gonna be really happy with the result Unless I scrunched it up. If I already scrunched it up, I can't use it. Okay, I didn't. Kind of. So. We're going to go ahead and use this as well. Yeah, I did kind of scrunch it up here, so. 
Hopefully once it bakes it'll be okay. I wish that flower looked better. I would use that one. Let me see. I really like that. So we're going to make a small one. And I'm just going to use this center right here. And the same, we're going to put that, we're going to put that on the same tile as that. And then this, I'm probably going to put gold around it when it comes out. Let's see what we can do. This stuff dries so fast. Let's try another finger, right? So you're just going lightly because you don't want to do the surface. You just want to do all the areas that are sticking out. If you get it on the surface, it's not a big deal because you're going to be putting alcohol, ink, and resin in there. Okay, so there's our two little patterns. Let me go ahead and put it in the oven and I'll be back in about a half hour. Okay, so... It's an hour later. I don't know why I said I'd be back in a half hour. It's been about 45 minutes. And the reason I took it out early was I'm going to coat the sides gold. Because um, I don't want that pearl. I don't know why I don't want that pearl. But I don't want the pearl. So now that it came out. You know how you always get those little extras on the bottom. From where it smushes on your tile. So we're just going to sand that part up. Make it all nice and smooth. And depending whether I want to use the Inca Gold or if I just want to use some gold metallic paint to paint that side. And there's a little bit where I scratched it right here. I really don't want to take out the big guns to do it, but I might have to to get a nice edge. But let me show you what they look like. Okay, so here's the ones that I made. <laughs> this was the first one that I tried. And this was with um, liquid clay. But look at the colors. I mean, it was just ugly. And it was so hard to get that in between. And because they were watercolor crystals, you can see where it didn't dissolve. You got all these bumps right here. And then, let me see if I can find the other one. Which actually turned out a lot better. But unfortunately, with gold being the base, it changed the colors completely. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's okay. But I don't really like the colors. The colors I picked were great. That was supposed to be yellow. That was supposed to be orange. These were actually blue. Uh, the pink should have been a dark purple, um, but because it hit gold, it just changed the colors. But see, this is what we're looking for, is we're making it look like this is metal. So all the gold that's around it. So I'll be back. All right, so we got all that sanded. So I'm going to see if I can stir up this ink of gold because it's just, it's so thick. And it dries very quickly. Okay. 
So I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. This is a little bit too loose, I think, but we're going to try it anyways. And if it just be, my hands are a mess. As you can see, I've got alcohol ink in my nails. I've been doing this all day long. So I might as well just continue to use my fingers. I may let that dry a little bit and then come back and do one more coat. And I know my hands are in it on the other side. That's all right. Yeah, paint might have worked a little better. So I am going to pull out some regular gold paint. Just some cheap old acrylic gold. I know I don't need that much. This is why I don't paint because I would make a horrible painter. I'll let it dry a little bit and then maybe put another coat on top and then I'm going to stick it in the oven to set it for about 20 minutes or so. My son is not having a good night on his bike. <clears throat> He's trying to fix the old one that he had and yeah, it hasn't been a really good night for him. I have to say I know how he feels because I've done this thing so many times. All right, so we're gonna let that dry and we'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes. All right guys, so we are back and this is what we took out of the oven. So I put it in there for a half hour to harden the clay. Then I took it out and I lined the sides with gold and the back because um, I didn't want the pearl with the gold because this is all going to be a different color anyway. So I just finished it in um, just regular metallic gold paint. Okay. So now what you're going to do is take resin. I'm using just this cheap, um, I don't know, the Japanese or Chinese resin. It only takes eight minutes to cure, which is why I'm using it. Because I'm going to do one color cure it and then go on to the next color so this way I don't cross contaminate any other one of these if I accidentally make a mistake and get some color onto another color it won't destroy the whole piece so I'm just doing one color at a time and I didn't want to wait 30 minutes for the resin to dry out. I didn't have anything to put the resin in so I'm just using this little metal container. So basically now you just go in and paint wherever you want it. 
so do it slowly okay, I'm going to try and put this up front for you and then just drag it where you want it to go try not to cover the gold and that's why you need something to where you can make a really deep impression so that you don't cover the gold okay I put it on the thickest part and then I just drag it it's a little lighter than I wanted to so just remember too that the alcohol inks they seem to turn lighter when they're put into resin this was supposed to be a purple at this point I don't care but this was supposed to be a purple color it's more of a, a fuchsia now okay and the reason I'm being messy is because it's not really laid down okay then take a q-tip with alcohol and this is an old one so let's just clean that up a little bit and I'm just putting alcohol on the tip and I'm coming back here and making sure that it's not on that gold piece right there okay so do clean up as you go so this is gonna take me forever so I'm not gonna leave you on here but that's all you do mix just one drop um, of resin with the alcohol ink and then just place it in between the gold and drag it all the way down to where you want it to go okay so I'm gonna work on that and then I'll put it under the UV lamp after this color is done just to show you and then I'll probably do the rest of it off camera so I will be back Okay, so I wanted to come back really quick because I wanted to show you what this looks like before it goes under the UV lamp. I don't know if I showed you these yesterday. I think I did. This is like a two-day video, so I can't remember. This is the one that we did with the um, liquid clay. And as you can see, it just turned out horrible. It got bumpy because I used watercolor crystals, so we threw that away. Then we did it again, and we used the resin on this one. But the purples and stuff turned pink. Um, they turned all kinds of funky colors. This was a beautiful turquoise blue. I don't know what happened to it. It just turned a completely different color because the background is on gold. Okay, so this background's on, curl, on pearl. So this is what this looks like. And remember yesterday we also did one on white. So the thing about the white... Is I didn't get a really deep impression but I am gonna do one flower and you can already see it's got a little bit of a different appearance on this one on white the pearl came through on the other one One looks more pink and this was purple that was a dark purple I used so I'm liking the one on pearl just because it give it it's giving me that pearl sheen I don't know if you can see it so now we're gonna put this under the UV lamp and let's see how it turns out so we'll be back in eight minutes alrighty so we didn't have any color change it's still not purple I really wanted that purple so I didn't make it deep enough to where I could add purple on top if I wanted to, but I'm not because I'm afraid of messing it up. So that's what it looks like so far. And obviously I love the pearl because you got the sparkly still coming through. So now I'm going to slowly do all of this and then I'll come back when I'm completely done so you don't have to watch the whole process. Another thing that is easy, so if you see some of these areas right here are really thin, instead of using a um, toothpick I just use a needle tool I put a drop up here and I drag it all the way down to the thin areas and it makes it a little easier than using a toothpick so let me go ahead and put the rest of the colors in and I'll come back every now and then and show you be back soon 
Alrighty, so we finished with the second color, which is blue. It dried a little darker, I think, but not as bad as on the gold. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish all of this up. And I will come back and show you when it's completely done. So we'll see you. <laughs> it's going to take a while, so I'll see you later on today. Bye. Alrighty, guys, so we are done. The only problem I have with it is the pink is still... is the purple turned pink so that's the only color that we had a problem with but anyways doesn't that look like a Clausen a pendant so we are done and it's probably gonna sit like this so I will just put a bail on the back um, one of those that glue on and I'll probably use resin in order to do it but there is our pendant I hope you guys like that it was really fun to make let me I'll put it on something that's not so grimy. But there you go. And that is our project for the day. So go try it, and I would love to see what you come up with. We'll talk to you later. Oh, also remember, sometimes the colors aren't exactly the colors that they were put out. This was a turquoise, and look at how dark it ended up. So test a couple small areas so that you know that you got the right colors on there and then go for it. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.